So yeah, so um, just got a bit more flour to add. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna add this now. Got a little bit. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. Welcome to today's vlog. Hope you're all okay. So yeah, having a nice, easy, relaxing Saturday morning. Yeah, I've been up since about quarter to five with Ben. Yeah, he woke up really, really early this morning. I'm saying that though, he went to bed quite early last night. So I don't know what they did at school yesterday, but they said he was really tired as well. So he was asleep. I said he was asleep by what just after nine. So unfortunately, we're about quarter to five this morning. He was up full of beans I said to him come on let's go back to sleep but no well he hasn't has he hasn't had any of it so um thinking he might fall asleep early tonight but you have to make sure he won't get sleepy throughout the day so like I said we're not we wasn't doing anything today anyway so because just have a nice easy relaxing day at home but saying that though I do want to do some cooking yeah we've got some eggs in the fridge that need using up and I'm getting this before their sell by date so I don't really want to waste them or nothing like that so I thought, well, with the kids being off for half term, they're going to get hungry. They want biscuits and that sort of thing. And not that with us going out tomorrow, I thought we can take some with us. So, yes, yeah, so I've just been in my cupboard and um, I want to make some of these. I actually picked these up from Primark a while ago and I haven't actually used them before. See, so they're brand new. got some of the Mickey cutters. Again, I only paid a pound for them so yeah so i thought right if i make them gluten free and put them in the shits they can have them anyway so so we can all have them so it doesn't really make much difference so we'll do that we'll try and see try and get ben involved with it as well if we can obviously we'll depending on his mood as well because like i said he's fine at the minute but as the day gets on he might get a little bit more tired and aggressive and that sort of thing so yeah see how he goes if he does he doesn't um if not me and sammy will make them as well also we want to try and make like a big tray bake type thing yeah, possibly we can take, cut it up and take it with us tomorrow. Just another little simple sponge cake with some icing on the top and also some hundreds and thousands, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realise actually. I actually need for the date. What's the date on these? So I've got a date on these. Oh, yeah, best before LVF 425, so that'd be fine. I did pick these up for Christmas, but never did use them, so I did. Yeah, I've got some hundreds and hundreds and thousands in here yeah got some hundreds and thousands in here so yeah and i'll just sprinkle them on top also got some mini marshmallows in the cupboards as well so yeah gonna do a little bit of a caking day i think today so anyway yeah so um sammy's happy when he's watching trolls You're sammy there, are you watching the new trolls are you watching the new trolls are you watching the brand new trolls it's come here that's um, yeah, guess what? I think it's because he's, yeah, anyway, he's definitely watching Trolls on um, Amazon, yeah, because I think, like I said, just before Christmas Eve, as part of this treat, we brought him the new Trolls movie, yeah, which she absolutely loves. So he's got all the Trolls now, and she's seen in his bedroom, he's got a nice collection of Trolls as well, so. But anyway, yeah, um, like I said, I need to go get Ben dressed now, actually, so, and yeah, we'll see you a little bit later when gonna do some baking i've done no baking for ages i used to love my baking i definitely think i need to get back into it actually to be honest with you but like i said yeah, i'm gonna get my dress um well, first before i do start baking i need to sort out all this washing as well I've got a couple of baskets that i need to um get dry as well so again the weather out there is quite foggy as well quite miserable well, it's miserable it's just foggy um there's not rain or nothing like that so but anyway yeah we'll see you excuse <laughs> me <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 
sorry about that yeah we'll see you a little bit later yeah so just about to make the cake i'm just going to go for a normal simple tray bake using a victoria sponge um cake recipe so yeah this is the little tray i'm actually using see i've actually put grease free paper in it and i've also put some of the magic cake release spray underneath as well yeah that magic cake release spray is absolutely magical it works really really well so i thought yeah this will make a nice decent size actually for us and the recipe i'm using so it cuts into 10 i suppose it would be half and that curtain half and cutting it that way i think as i suppose you could actually get more out of 10 and this could be probably would just imagine there's probably how big you actually cut the slices and that sort of thing yeah so it's just me um Stephen and ben are happy watching the man city and everton game i think it is i know Stephen's watching it with interest because apparently if man city win they'll go top until liverpool play a bit later on so yeah um i think deep down he's hoping man city lose or only draw so liverpool stay on top and then obviously then sam is on the computer doing his own thing so yeah it's just me making them you know, like i said that just goes to prove they are getting older and they don't like making cakes i know when sam was younger he absolutely loved it and ben sometimes makes cakes for school but he does other bits and pieces and stuff so yeah, anyway yeah let's get on with doing this cake and then hopefully fingers crossed it'll come out all right and we can either have some for pudding and then whatever we don't use for pudding we can actually take with us to have tomorrow on our little picnic Right, yes, this is what you'll need to make your tray bake or your cake. Obviously, you need a tin. Like I said, I've actually already greased that. And obviously, I might put a little bit on the top of that just to make sure it is actually um, okay. Yeah, so, this is my cake release spray that I absolutely use. So, yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. And like I said, it is really, really amazing. It's quite expensive, but like I said, it works every time. You say I'm not going to jinx it now, aren't I? <laughs> But yeah, um, like I said, it even works for like big cakes and even on the like, little cakes, I always put like a little dog at the bottom of the cake case. Like I said, it stops them from sticking. And obviously then you'll need your stalk. Well, we'll say you need butter, soften butter, but I'm using the stalk, fluffy cake things. For usually stalk, margarine for making cakes. Obviously you'll need some caster sugar. Again, you can use anything and this is just some cereal spoon. Um, also... I've got some self-raising flour here. Again, you see I've got the gluten-free one because obviously making it gluten-free for Ben, but you can use normal flour as well. I've got some baking powder, obviously how to make it rise. Again, this stuff's gluten-free, so that's fine for Ben. And obviously I need some eggs, so I've got four eggs in there. So yeah, and then in the scene here, I've already weighed out my flour, not flour, I've already weighed out my cashew sugar, which is 200 grams, and also my 200 grams of butter in there as well so yeah i'm going to push this down hopefully fingers crossed i've got the right thing on it because these things all look the same as well so yeah hopefully fingers crossed it works it's like i said it's been a while since i've actually used it as well all right let's push this down push this on like that let's turn it on okay and you're not working what's wrong with you okay what's wrong? why are you working Okay, don't want to stop working for. Hmm. Let's, hang on, let me find out why it's not working and I'll get back to you. If not, I have to do it by hand. Right, we'll try that again, shall we? Yes, yeah, Steve managed to fix it. I didn't don't know what was up with it. He just pushed around with a few buttons. So we'll try that again. So, yes, yeah, so I was saying, so in my bowl, I've got um, 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of caster sugar. So we'll just push this down. That's it. So get this to work. There we go. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just put this on now until it goes nice and soft. I'll turn you around in a second. I did have to full speed actually to hear it. There you go, look at that. Hey ho, hopefully that's gonna come out alright on there so you can see it. And then obviously then what I've done is if I turn you around that'd be easier. And then also you can actually see um why that's going there like that it's not getting all nice and soft i just weighed out my flour and i've got 200 grams of flour in there as well yeah and obviously yeah i've got my teaspoon here for my baking powder as well so yeah i'm going to add that in a second this is my baking powder so what i'm going to do is open that up now like so and then put in just my teaspoon of baking powder 
it so I then just put that in there and just give that a, a mix in there with my flour like so that's it and hopefully these two fingers pop oh yeah but that does come out really well actually so if I stop that Push that up. Push, come on, you will push. Let's put you down, you can see. There we go. Look how nice and um, mixed and how nice and soft and butter that one is. So, right, so while I'm going to do that, I've got um, get my get my eggs. I've got my big spoon here somewhere. When I put my spoon, oh, there's my spoon just there. So, what I'm going to do is every time I add, so I've got four eggs in there, so I'll put my four eggs in there, like so. And I get my spoon, and so every time I add an egg, I always add a teaspoon, a tablespoon of flour. Don't know if it's supposed to or not, but I find that always works for me. So one, two, three, and four. There we go, so we push this back down again and then give it a good old mix. So yeah, so um just got a bit more flour to add, so yes, I'm gonna add this now. Gonna a little bit each time and give it a good old mix again. And what I'm gonna try and do is not add it all at once and just give it a good old mix and gets all the air back into the cake mixture as well. And not only that, with it being gluten free as well, it'll probably help because with obviously with gluten free, there isn't the lacticity in it either as well. So yeah, you can see, just give that a good old. You can actually see all the air bubbles in the cake mixture as well. That's it. You can add milk to it if you want to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends how thick the mixture is as well. As you can see, look at that. Doesn't that look really nice? Again, this is even the thick of the bowl out after I finished. So yeah, look at that. It's got that nice yellowy kite colour as well. So just add the last bit of my flour. Like so, that's it. I think that's it. Oh, last little bit there. That's it. And one thing I like about the tray bed cakes is when you come to decorating it, it doesn't got to be perfect. You can just decorate how you want to. So, like I said, I've got some hundreds and thousands and some marshmallows, which I'm going to add to that. So, yeah, there we go. Look at that cake. Doesn't that look nice? You can see that. I mean, you can see all the air. It's actually in that as well, so yeah, it's all the air bubbles. Like so, that's it. No, I'm not going to add no milk to it because I don't think it actually needs many milk to it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Like I said, that is optional anyway. So there we go. Quite pleased with that. There's no lumps or bumps or anything in that in there. That's it. So then I'm just going to bring my my tin from over here. I do have a knife with me here as well somewhere. Got my knife as well to spread it out. So then what I'm basically then what I'm gonna do is just go tip it all in to the cake mixture. The cake mixture into the tin. Like so. There we go. That's it. There we go. Actually, there is a little bit left in the bowl, but again, you can't make a cake without licking the uh, left of the bowl, can you? Just got my knife now. And then what I'm going to do is just go right to the edges of my cake, like that as well. That's it. 
like so. And then it goes in the oven then on 190 or 170 fan um, for the fan or gas mark six and it goes on for about 20-25 minutes. So yes, what I'm going to do is check it after 20 minutes and if, need, if it needs to go back on again and then I'll stick it oven for a few more minutes. So yeah, I think that should be about right. Like so. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, and there comes the fun part then when it's cool and decorate. Once it's cool, we can decorate it. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, yep. So just put this in the oven, and then when it's um, cooked and when it's time to decorate, you, I'll show you. There we go. Look at that. This is what this tastes like. I mean, once I just finished doing the last bit there. That's it. There we go. Mm. Let's see what Stephen thinks now when he licks the bowl out. So yeah, you can see my cake has come out the oven. It's all nice and cool now. It hasn't risen much, to be honest with you. I thought it might have risen a bit more, um, but never mind. Like I said, it's gluten free anyway. So um, I think maybe if I do a next, if I do it next time, I might do a double layer. I think and put some stuff on the icing on the top and then in the middle. So anyway, yeah. So let's um, get ready to ice it. I've still got my icing sugar here as well yeah after i've used all my bowls up my two bowls i had so let's got a little bowl here so hopefully this of course that should be enough obviously got my knife as well so yeah also my hundreds and thousands which are just there and then if i turn back round i've got my marshmallows so yeah let's get ready to ice and decorate the cake Well, Industry Farm, that brings Saturday to an end, and Ben's been in such a bad mood today, it's been unreal. Yeah, when we got his last medication, he got given, like, X old stock as his, as his, his epilim. So basically, his epilim that we normally get, the one we got this time was basically old stock. Yeah, basically, um, if I show you, I can see, here, yes, is the epilim here. Is this his old one? Yeah, if you, can, if you can see that very well, come out on the vlog, you can see that is red. Yeah. That one is oh, red wait. there. And then Snuffy. Look, you can see on the cat. Yeah, look, red. Zoom in. I think he's going to come out right. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is red in there. But anyway, Snuffy. As you can see, look at the date on it. Oh, yeah, so I know it's a point. Well, we only got that, didn't we? Yeah. But it's definitely on stock. Yeah, it's dated August of this year. And the new epilim should have at least one year on it. And that was dated, we got that the 23rd of January. So anyway, as I was saying, so Sanofi actually um, changed the formulation on these. They took out the red food colouring dye because it was known to cause aggression in kids and also make them hyperactive. Yeah. So they changed it. This is the old one here. To, you can see they changed it to clear. As you can see, where are we? Where are you? Just there. That is clear in there. Mm -hmm. Look, if you can see on the bottom. 
And this one is dated the 23rd, the July 2026. And it, we actually got this one the 23rd of December, so it's old stock. So basically anyway, we got given old stock. Yeah, so basically anyway, we've noticed since Bone's been back on the red one, is Temp anger, his temper, temper and up. his aggression has got quite bad again. The thing is, we took it back and asked for them to uh, replace, it. replace it and they said we couldn't do it. They couldn't do it because they'd have to some more stock in, but unfortunately we needed that stock, we needed it, didn't we? Yeah. So we think we've got two bottles left. So we yeah, hopefully, it. when we get his next batch, hopefully it won't be old stock again. Hopefully it won't be, if it is, we'll just simply use it again this time. But yeah. then again, today he could be tired, because don't forget he's been up since 4 to 5, so he could be tired. Yeah. But anyway, I'm tired as well, because I've been up since... 4.14 this morning, yes, my up? my body decided to wake me up one minute before the alarm went off. Is there anyone else out there that sets their alarm and their, their stupid body wakes them up before the alarm goes off? It's like, what the? Because yeah. your body, probably, probably because your, your body clock, she's she waking up at that hour in the morning, isn't yeah, it? I know, but it just, it really gets to you, that yeah, it, does. it really it annoys does, you. It? it does, Anyway, SG fam, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one. Bye everyone. Bye.